Our first activity was to create a simple app that just had a single screen, screen one, with a text label. I've called mine LBL Hello, it says Hello World, and an image, IMG Cat. Um, this is most of you should have something pretty similar to this. Uh, I had to set the width of my cat picture to fit exactly on the screen, but it's pretty straightforward kind of stuff. For what we're doing here, I want to add another screen as well. So I clicked the Add Screen button, and if I just hop in, I've now got Screen Dog. Screen Dog, again, it's got a label, LBL Dog Text, and an image, IMG Dog. When I run this on my phone or on the emulator, I have no way of switching between the two screens. So what we're going to add now is a button which will take us back to the cat screen from the dog screen. So over here in the user interface palette, there's a button. I'm just going to drag that over here. Uh, I'm going to change the text that's written on the button to go to cat, something meaningful. Uh, or oh, I actually need to change the name of the button to something meaningful as well. So BTN nav cat is a good name because it means it's navigation and it's going to go to the cat page. So that's all fine but when I click that button nothing will happen because I haven't yet told anything to happen. So what I'm going to do is use the blocks. This is We're going to spend a lot of time in this. This is a bit where we actually do programming. So over here I'm going to hop from the designer to the blocks page. In this screen, we've got a whole bunch of different flowchart kind of functions that we can use to create a program. This is real programming. You, you can write quite powerful programs with the functionality that's available here. Um, as well as all of this lot here in terms of functionality, down here we've got the objects we currently have on this screen and there are things which are associated directly with those like for example when btn navcat is clicked do something and there's things like a long click when you do a press and hold and there's also some properties and thing properties that you can set down here as well we're going to do when the button is clicked so drag that onto there and the thing i'm going to do i happen to know is open another screen and i happen to know that that is somewhere down here open another screen screen name so I'm going to click that in place there so open another screen screen name and I need to actually have that as a little text label uh, the other screen is called screen one by default every app inventor app has the main screen the first screen you create called screen one so when I go back to my designer I've got a button and that will action the uh, little flowchart that I've got right here and on my emulator or phone that does work.